Ugh. Oh, hey, camera following me. Well, that's normal. Um, well, I just got out of work and nobody's home, so I can be loud and obnoxious and make a video. Uh, it's something I want to talk about for a while. Not really a review, nothing, nothing too special. But, uh, yeah, I don't put up the videos as often as I used to, and I don't really care. Because it doesn't really affect anybody. So, I picked up, well, I didn't pick up, for my birthday, which was, who cares? I got L.A. Noir, and I wanted to play this game. But for $60, you know, I heard it's a really big game, but... For me, if I don't have something to do after I beat a game for sixty dollars, that's a lot of fucking money. So I was like, you know, I'll just wait for my birthday, wait for my birthday. And uh, my brothers, being the kind gentlemen that they are, well, one of them, totally not a marketing ploy for Monster. Uh, I feel energized. Uh, they picked me up, L.A. Noir. So I'm playing it, and. You do the tutorial, it tells you every little thing about how to find clues, how to find missions. And I'm uh, sitting there, I'm like, okay, you know, basic stuff nowadays. But every case it walks you through, you get to interrogate people. And I'm sitting there, I'm trying to read their faces. I'm trying, wow, I did a good shave. Anyway, so I'm trying to read their faces, you know, read, what are you trying to tell me? Are you lying? Do I have to question you a little bit? And there's some cases I got everything right, not a big deal. In a lot of cases, I got something's wrong. And so I figure, okay, I did something bad. Let me go back and retry it. And that's a lot of work to put in. And I'm sitting there thinking, you know, well, I'll get a better, you know, hopefully this leads to a clue better. So, I don't know. And then there comes another case, walking you through it, telling you whatever, blah, blah, blah. Same tutorial, same shit over and over. But in this one mission, there are two suspects, and they have very similar... Reason why they could have done it. One guy's name was Hugo Mahler, and there was a bloody green coat in a car that said HM on it. And there was another guy who worked at something called, you know, started with an H, Marine. And, you know, why do I keep moving my laptop? Whatever. And they asked him, you know, do you have any connection? Like, did they give you any work clothes? They're like, yeah, green coveralls. And they both had, you know, guy has HM in his name. HM whatever. Point being, it could have been either suspect. And I did this mission twice. And the first time, I charged... This is a spoiler, by the way, if you haven't caught that by now. But I charged the pedophile guy. And I'm thinking, okay, I have no evidence against the husband in this case. So I'm going to arrest him. So once it says, you know, you're under arrest, whatever. A minor character come in that you... You know, he came in just to intervene. And he goes... Hey, that's the guy I saw taking the car and points at the husband. Okay, so what did I just do all that work for? So then you go chase the husband down. And I was like, well, okay, if I know it's him, then I'm going to go back and see what I did wrong. And I go back, and there's, you know, I do the same missions. And there's just not enough evidence put on the husband. So I sit there, and I'm just wondering, what do I do? Like, you know, the game just kind of fucks you. Like, you sit there and do all this police work. And if I get it wrong, is it any? Is it a big deal? And it made me go on this, like, rant today. I'm like, well, games really baby you nowadays. So the second part part of the story is, I've never, ever, ever played Legend of Zelda for NES. I know, it's shocking. I never played Legend of Zelda, and I picked it up. I'm on the fifth dungeon now. And as I'm playing it, you gotta. I sat there and I'm like. How would kids in the 80s know where to go in this game? Let, you know, it's less than a megabyte big, but like back in the day, you had no idea how to burn a bush to get a staircase. You had no idea you needed this item to use here. And I'm sitting there, I'm like, they just drop you. And some people are stupid enough, they won't even go in the first cave that's on the game when you pick up and pick up a sword. There's no arrow telling you, go here. Like, I'm just sitting there, I'm like, wow, we are so babied as gamers today. Everything is so linear and so by the book, and they're all, I get that they're trying to tell a story, but it's so no fail, like, this is how you're going, uh, don't go off the path, too bit of uh, like, my main point is, what I'm trying to ask everybody, is do you think that today, as gamers, we're very, very, very babied? Like, I, like, if I'm looking at my stack now, uh, minus my fighting games. 
Uncharted 2, very good game, very linear, it didn't baby you too much, taught you the buttons, and it didn't baby you too much, Grand Theft Auto, open world, do what the fuck you want, but it does have those annoying pop-ups all the time, WWE All-Stars, even that, it keeps reminding you, hit this button to reverse, hit this button to reverse, hit this button to reverse, okay, if you don't memorize that when you're playing, that's your fault, and that's your disadvantage, back in the day, you play Street Fighter 2, you're on your own, you know those buttons, good, have fun. Ah, uh, what else we got? UFC, eh, you had to learn that one on your own. No, well, it's Mortal Kombat, you know, learn it. Unreal Tournament. Even early PS3. You told you minimal buttons. Figure it out. You're There you go. You play Unreal Tournament, it's fine. Generic first-person shooter. Well, all the Call of Duties tell you everything to do. Every button. You come near something, pick up this gun. You know, hold square for this, hold square for that, hold square for this. R1 to shoot, L1 to look down the sights. Okay, if he can't remember, if the player can't remember that, he shouldn't be playing a game. Ah, uh, Killzone, even still, I love Killzone to death. Every time I walk by an ammo box, circle, circle, you know, do that. It's not too babied, but the campaign, very go here. Like, the objective is always on the screen. As a marker, you know, go here. And online, I can understand. But if you're playing the single player and it's already guiding you on a path, you know, you don't need to, gui you don't need to baby me. COD 4, same way. Uh, Assassin's Creed, not so much. It gave you a map, but that's, I mean, all the buttons are on the screen, like, there's all they do. And I understand that, because if you hold, you know, R1, it brings up a whole other menu. And then, you know, whatever. But my point is, try to pick up any heavy single-player game nowadays, and just look how long the tutorial is, and just notice. They keep reminding you throughout the whole game, do this, do this, do this, do this, do this. And you look back at games like Zelda and old, old RPGs where you had to go on your own. Unless you had Nintendo Power, and you just had to hope it was in that issue, you were fucked. So I guess the question I'm trying to get across is, do you think we're too babied as gamers? Let me know. Uh, little rant, UG203. I'll try to put a video up whenever I feel like it. Uh, you're not my mother.